Hey folks, uh, this lesson is a quick one. It went pretty easy today. Radical expressions and radical exponents. So this is um, pretty much a repeat of what we did in uh, Integrated Math 2. I think it was Module 3, I think. So anyway, so our question here is how are rational exponents? Rational usually means fraction, fractional exponents related to uh, radicals and roots. Okay, so so here we go. So uh, in IM2, module 3, if we had b to the m over n power, that just equals the nth root. This is the denominator. is always our index number of b to the m. Or you can do this, you guys. You can do the nth root of b and then put the m on the outside, whichever is easier. I tend to find this one uh, I use more than this one. But, you know, they're both the same right here. So um, this one, I, I just tend to use that one there. So... Um, now, there's several ways to do these correctly, you guys. So if you're getting the correct answer another way, then, then please keep doing that, okay? So here's, uh, yeah, I went a little bit too fast. Here's number one, 27 to the two-thirds power, okay? So that equals uh, the cube root of 27 squared. Now, what Natalie said today in class was she said, uh, well, 27 is the same as 3 to the third. And that's fine. 3 to the 3rd is uh, 27, and you can replace that in here. So uh, 3 to the 3rd and then to the 2 thirds, and then the thirds part and the 3 would cancel. So you get the same answer. So here I get uh, the cube root of 27 is 3. So we still get 3 squared. 3 squared is going to be 9 right there, okay? Other ways to do that correctly. This kind of ring a bell what we're doing there? Okay, how about this? Uh, 4 to the 3 halves power. Okay, now, um, um, uh, the square root of 4, it's understood if it's the square root of 4 that there's a 2 there when there's no number written there. So when this uh, index number is a 2 right there, then we can just write the square root of 4. So this is going to be the, the square root of 4 to the third power right there. Okay, I'm just following this pattern right here. Okay, the index number is the denominator, and then uh, that uh, numerator is uh, the outside piece right there. So this is going to be the square root of 4 cubed. Okay, square root of 4 is 2, 2 cubed, 8. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so again, there's other correct ways to do this. I'm just showing you one correct way. If you want to do it another way, that is fine. Okay, so um, uh, when you have a fraction to a, a power, then it's the numerator and denominator that's to that power right there. Okay, so then uh, the, the denominator is our index number. 81 just happens to be conveniently 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Similarly, 16 is 4 twos. And we need 4 threes. We need this many numbers on the inside. So there's 4 threes on the inside that brings 1 out. So this is 3 cubed. And this is 2 cubed, okay? The fourth root of 2 to the fourth is, is just 2, okay? And then 3 cubed is 27, 2 cubed is 8. Again, there's other correct ways, so if you see another easier way, keep doing it that way. All right, so here, and now these are po perfect fifth roots. 32 is 2 to the fifth. 243 is, is 3 to the fifth, okay? I don't think I did it that way. I did it this way right there. All right, so um, the fifth root of negative 32 over 243. Now, since um, this is a, an odd number, I can do negatives inside the radical. It just comes outside as a negative on the outside. Okay, so that's all I did. And then 32 is 2, uh, two, 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 two with one more 2, sorry. <laughs> 243 is five threes right there. So, so this is just going to be two uh, thirds right there. Don't forget the negative right there. Okay, so it's negative two thirds. Negative two thirds squared is negative two thirds times negative two thirds. Negative times negative is a positive, four ninths. Okay, all right, so how about this guy? Okay, so um, 0.5, I'm sorry, the cube root of 0.5 to the ninth. Okay. Uh, if you want to, yeah, come on in. Okay, we'll go into this Okay, all right, we have some, um, sorry, some some visiting eighth graders going into classes. This is my prep period, so there's a group of kids out there. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to write this as 0.5 to the 9 thirds power right there. Remember, this is the denominator right there, and 9 over 3 is 3, so 0.5 to the 3 power. 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, 0 0.125. Okay, all right, let's uh, translate the radical expressions into expressions with rational exponents and vice versa. Okay, so here we go. Uh, X to the 11 eighths. All the textbook wants you to do is be able to do that. Okay, either one of those would be okay. Okay, 
All right, uh, my Algebra 2 book used to carry this a little bit further right here. There's a here, there's a uh, 11 X's right there and you need eight of them. That brings one of them on the outside. So my old Algebra 2 book would have said X times the eighth root of X cubed. Okay, because eight, eight X's on the inside would bring one of them outside and you have three left on the inside. Anyways, both of those, uh, your textbook says both of those is okay. All right, so don't let this confuse you. A bunch of letters, the U root of ST and then to the V power. So it's just going to be ST to the V over U power right there. That's all they're looking for. They're trying to be tricky. All right, if you guys are in my class, that's going to be your assignment. Take care.